So Pyrotology, let's have a look at our next page. Ooh. Don't know if you can make out all of this. Got lots here. Let's have a look at this page first. But to be careful, I don't miss anything. Things flap open. This is quite a smooth page, I think. September the 13th, 1723, Boston, Massachusetts. Who's this? I have recruited a fine crew. My new cabin boy, this is a cabin boy, is swabbing the decks to keep the boards from shrinking and letting water in. And we know that they had to do that because that's what Jack had to do, wasn't it? Had to keep um, making sure the decks were water, uh, they had moist because otherwise they'd shrink and let the water in. Ugh, it's a hard job. Here, a common pirate vessel. It's beautiful, isn't it, actually? Pirates favour a type of ship called a sloop. Its shallow draft lets it enter inlets and bays where the water is not deep enough for larger ships. I didn't know that. I suppose it's if they need to capture or if they need to run aground and have do pirate things. Uh, let's have a look. I set out this day with a commission. That was the commission was that piece of paper um, here. Remember from the king. Um, to hunt down and capture Arabella Drummond, a vicious and intem intemperate, so it was a Z though, it's the way they've done the R's, intemperate pirate and a mortal dangerous, dangers to all whom she meets. She sounds quite formidable. I have therefore furnished my ship, a sea cat, in a warlike manner and have a crew of 80 brave sailors at my command. Every man is sworn to rid the seas of the plague of piracy once and for all. By a remarkable fate, my ship is almost a twin of one of the most feared pirate vessels of them all, Blackbeard's flagship, the Queen Anne's Revenge. I have included a diagram of her here. Study her lines well, for in her you see an excellent prospect for the sort of ship to which many pirate captains aspire. I hope the sea cat proves as capable in battle should we meet Drummond, as I doubt that she will waste that she, I doubt that she will waste her time in parley. Parley is the discussion of the pirates. Uh, the Queen Anne's Revenge. Ah, so here is Blackbeard's ship. It's all careful, it's a very old piece of paper. So here is Blackbeard's ship. Um, he gave the a name Queen Anne's Revenge in 1717 and converted her into the most powerful ship in American waters. He grounded her off um, Beaufort inlet in 1718 but escaped with all her treasures the ship was 110 feet long and about 24 feet wide she could carry a crew of up to 300 heavily armed pirates blackbeard loaded his ship with more than 40 cast iron cannons he also added various small swivel guns to the deck goodness me cannon holes here Blackbeard cut away the original built forecastle at the bow uh, or front of the ship, exposing the forwarding guns. So it goes over here. Might be the ship's cover, uh, the sails covering it. Blackbeard's pirate flag depicted a skeleton holding an hourglass. He flew it to terrify his victims into giving up their cargoes without a fight. Oh, that's it there. Can you see that? That's one of the ones we looked at, wasn't it? While well, most pirates spent their plunder on drink or debauchery, some bury it. Um, Kid, oh, hello, sorry, hold on. Kid claimed to be a privateer rather than a pirate, but when his treasure was found, a letter licensing him to attack. French ships did not save him from the noose. That means he was hanged. So who's Kidd? This is Captain Kidd and he was buried. He buried part of his treasure on the Gardeners Island in Long Island. Oh, so that's the one that was by New York. The one that was actually one of the 
few pirates that we know for sure buried his treasure. Um, didn't he have a rough time and remember his story? I think it was a bit of a shame he got caught. You have to remind me what his story was. The chief aim of my voyage is to capture Arabella Drummond and recover the treasure she has stolen. On leaving Boston, she was seen heading south. I believe she will head for the Caribbean by way of North Carolina. Oh, this is what I've been wanting to open the whole time. Let's just try and get you to see. So we've got a picture of Arabella here. Uh, Terror of the Seas, what a cool nickname, though. She looks very formidable, doesn't she? But this, look, it's a pirate's treasure map. And it's got strange markings here. But I don't have any idea what that is. It looks like some sort of secret code. I wonder if he finds out later in the journal some sort of way to figure out what the code means and where on earth this is. We've got our compass here, but I can't see any compass directions. What happened? I'd love to wait and see until the next page. Ooh. Right then children, we'll have a look at it after half term.